Hey everybody, Luxenda Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. I'm gonna try something a little different. I have a white 20 ounce skinny straight, sanded it, washed it, spray painted it white, and I have a whole bunch of different micas here that are kind of sort of in the rainbow sequence. I'm taking some liberties because I want sort of a pastel thing. So I have pink and a, a light yellow. This was the palest orange I could find in my collection. I have three from Woody's Goodies. I have Barbie is the pink, Sun Glow is the yellow, and Purple Passion is my violet. And then I I have three from Crafter's Choice, which is sold by Wholesale Supplies Plus.com. I will link everything below. This is the Granny Smith. This is Sparkle White Snow. And this is Super Sparkle White Diamonds. I'm going to mix up about 40 milliliters of resin. I'm going to use the Tumblr's Coating Epoxy. Some of it will be mixed with the Super Sparkle White Diamonds. And I will put that on the cup just so there's a layer of resin on there. It has a little sparkle in it. And then I will siphon off six cups worth. Mix in these six mica colors. We're going to kind of sort of do a rainbow drizzly thing and see what happens. It's not particularly different but this is a form of rainbow I haven't done before so let's give it a shot sit back and enjoy the show And we're back. Okay, it's time to put a decal on our beautiful rainbow tumbler. And it occurred to me that even though these are light colors and a water slide will show up on it, the background colors will change the colors in the water slide. For example, if I put this right here, these will become green flowers because it'll be blue on top of yellow. The rainbow aspect of the flower would, would basically disappear. In order to have the flower show up pretty much the way I want, I decided to put a vinyl cutout of this flower here first. This is in white vinyl, so I could put this where I want it, which is right about here. Okay, and then make sure this is all nice and flat on the cup. I think this will do. Here's hoping anyway. It's not like I haven't had some trouble with this cup, because I have. You saw me struggling with the purple. Okay, so we have our flower. This is my Hippo H-I-I-P-O-O -O, water slide decal paper. After I printed this graphic out on the Hippo paper using my inkjet printer, I sealed it with two layers of Rust-Oleum 2X gloss clear spray, and then I put a third layer on, and that was the Plasti Dip Glossifier. So in we go. We'll see if this works out the way I hope it does. Some water on there so that I can move this around and get it lined up just perfectly on the white. Let's 
So no white is actually showing. See now, even though there's a blue on yellow, it doesn't turn green. It stays blue. That's what I wanted. Is this worth the extra hassle of doing that? Totally your decision. You certainly don't have to if you don't want to. You could put it straight on here and not worry about the fact that some of the colors kind of disappear into the background. All right, there it is. I'm gonna let this dry probably overnight just to be on the safe side. I want it completely dry before I put resin on it. Just to ensure that everything sparkles, I will use my rainbow alcohol ink in the, the layer of resin that I'm gonna put over the whole cup. And uh, yeah, the next time you see this should be out in the sunshine. So stay tuned.